All I had was this dream. I did this for three years with no pay. I call this going from free to fit. Small, actionable steps. That's all I want you to do. So every Thursday, I would wake up Thursday morning, go to WMAR, and I would do something called Tech Tip Thursdays. Here's the deal. My daily schedule, my weekly schedule was like this. No matter snow, sleet, or rainstorms, I had to be there. I get up at 4.30 in the morning, look at this guy. I get over there by six and be on the air by 7.30 doing my thing. Look how young this little baby face guy is. And what is that, an iPhone one? Like, is that the first generation iPhone? <laughs> look, look at that thing. <laughs> Immediately after that, I'd leave that joint. I'd leave the news station, get in my car and bust my butt to get to my day job so I wouldn't be late. I did this every day, people. I mean, every week. And I did this for three years with no pay. No pay. I had the day job. I was trying to build the side hustle. I call this going from free to fee. This is when you know you're working towards the fee. Like, I know I'm gonna get paid at some point to do this, but I can't ask for that money now because I need the experience. I need to break in. So you remove your ego and you work for free to break in because you're getting the experience. Bottom line, action is what creates more action. If you don't wanna do anything, you don't wanna go anywhere, then just stand still. You won't move, okay? But if you wanna do something, you must take a small step, even if super small, toward your vision, because once you commit to that, once you start actually taking steps, subconsciously, consciously, opportunities start coming your way. And then your friends go, oh, Lisa's lucky. Oh, Gerald's lucky he gets to do his thing. No, Gerald's not lucky he gets to do his thing. Gerald had to really think about the vision for himself and what he wanted to do and then start to take the small steps and have a bunch of sacrifice along the way in order to start that vision. So because I took one of those steps, I figured out something in the uh, newsroom that was really interesting. Because I took that action, I realized other employees that were in the news station were sitting around waiting for news to happen. Now think about that. I'm in this TV station, I do my thing, and I just see people that know how to operate cameras, know how to do editing, know how to do this, that, and the other, and they're sitting around waiting for news to happen. So boom, I was like, what if I could produce a show while they waited for the news to happen? Like, I mean, you're already paying for these people, right? They're already on staff. Like, they're already on the clock. Man, the GM was like, okay, we'll give you a shot at that. So then we ended up creating a half hour TV show called The Digital Spin. I had no resources, no budget, no marketing, no nothing. I mean, look at this hair. I had a lot of hair. I had a lot of hair. I may not have had anything else, but I had a lot of hair. This was the set. We had a fake brick wall in there. This was the set. And that was it. Like, that was me trying to do my thing. They let me air it every weekend on that same station. It aired for two years, people. Two years. And having that show in my portfolio, remember I said action creates action? That show in my portfolio then gave me the opportunity to show it to CNN. So years later, I show it to CNN, and out of that, I get a contract to become a contributor to CNN and HLN. A contributor means I was getting paid every time I appeared on TV, and I appeared on TV over 300 times in a year. This is a really great contract. My tech skills, my vision, my experience got me to where I am, and it can do the same for you. I didn't have a degree in this stuff. I didn't even have a background in television. All I had was this dream. And to dream far and focus near with small, actionable steps. That's all I want you to do.